Okay, hello guys. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, Hi. good evening. Hello. Good evening, welcome to you all. Thank you so much for being part of this um, week's first session. So um, how was your weekend guys? Was it good? You had a great weekend? Yes? Cansadísimo, teacher. I know, I know you have a lot of things to do. I know that it might be complicated because you work probably during the week and then you have to attend to the classes. So I completely understand that it can be a little bit difficult, but thank you so much for being always on time. That's something really, really good. I appreciate, I appreciate that. So uh, we're going to start a new class today, guys. I hope you're ready for that. And um, well, before we start, let me tell you that at this point or at this moment, you, you should have completed um, section number one and section number two from the platform. I don't know if you checked some of the messages that some of the people in charge of the platform sent. Sí, a este punto deberíamos de haber terminado section number one and section number two from the platform. Why? Because tomorrow we have, uh, tenemos calibración el día de mañana y eh, en eso denotamos quiénes son los estudiantes que han estado trabajando o no. I understand that probably, um, well, algunos de ustedes se comunicaron directamente conmigo y me hicieron saber las situaciones, ¿verdad? Por las que tal vez no han podido completar at this moment. But I know I completely understand those situations. But if you can work on that during the week, that is going to help you a lot because as I said, we have uh, tomorrow someone is going to check your progress in the platform. So you should be like complete. You should have already completed section number one and section number two. So you don't have any issue at the end of the module. So before we start, is there any question? I mean, on Thursday, el jueves pasado, tuvimos como problemas que algunos no podían entrar a the WhatsApp group. So some other ones um, couldn't complete some exercises and things like that. So before we start the class of today, I would like to ask you, is there any question regarding to the platform, to some of the exercises, or is there any question in general? No? So if there's no questions, that means that we are doing great. So nobody has um, problems. Okay, I, I got a question. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, we need to work on the platform. Uh, every section is as uh, every class. No, it's not as every class. The Probably the reason why they said that is because we have had some students in the past that the majority are doing the exercises a day before. La mayoría de los trata de completar los ejercicios un día antes, ¿verdad? No hacen nada durante todo el module y dos o tres días antes o una semana antes empiezan a hacer todo. Entonces, uh, we do that, eh, eh, hacemos eso, el hecho de que trabajen sección 1 y sección 2, porque lastimosamente esta semana empezamos día miércoles. Se supone que tendría que ser una sección por semana. En el caso de esta sección 1 y 2, sí se tienen que completar en la semana 1, dado el hecho de que we just have four weeks, right? It is just one month. Sí, entonces por eso section, section one, section two is going to be just in the first week. And then section three, it will be the whole week, this coming week. And then and so on and so on. <clears throat> but probably you felt like too much because we just have two classes, right? Probably that's the reason why. 
But if you haven't completed yet, it's okay. So Elizabeth, you have any question? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, mandaron un mensaje, eh, no fue al grupo, fue parte donde me daba los pasos para entrar a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Yo entré a la plataforma la semana pasada, me parece, cuando empezaron a activar los, los correos para poder ingresar a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Pero este, me dice que mande la captura de que ya, este, que ya logré ingresar. So, de la lección 1 me faltan dos puntos por terminar. Mm. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que puedo enviar o no envío? Eh, ¿Te piden enviar qué información? Eh, no, ahí solamente me piden que envíe la captura de que sí ingresé como en la página de inicio o algo así me dice. Ah, ok. Sí, en ese caso donde aparece section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Solo... Eh, que ya aparezca que lograste entrar a la plataforma. Ah, ya, porque eso sí lo estoy, lo estoy haciendo en la computadora. Eh, en la computadora no, no puedo ingresar a Zoom, no sé por qué. Quizás es por el tipo de, de computadora que tengo. Este es un notebook, parece que se llama. So probably, that's probably why. Sí. Yeah, but in that case, Entonces, uh -huh. sí, en ese caso solo sería la pantalla de inicio, de screenshot. Le dice section le one, two, three, four. Le y lo envío. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. So um, for today's class, guys, uh, I would like to verify still some of the things that we saw last week. Do you remember the last week we saw like some common greetings with the verb be? We saw also possessive adjectives. And I was checking that some of you send me the, that you work on your pages. And I just want to say thank you so much for that, guys, because I saw that some of you were working really, really hard on that. And uh, I appreciate that. Sí, muchas gracias a todos los que enviaron su, sus páginas, your pages over there. I saw that you have been working and well, that's part of your job, guys. Try to do some exercises because at the end of the day, that's going to be you, okay? So uh, let me ask you some questions before we start about the last two classes that we have had. We had uh, number one, questions or greetings with the verb be, and then the second one it was about possessive adjectives. Let me see, um, Gabriela Sanchez. Uh, can you tell me what are the personal pronouns? Uh, the personal pronouns, my, your, yours, his, eso so. Are those the personal pronouns? Es que no estuve en la clase pasada. No, that was on the first class. Eso lo vimos in class number one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. All right. Thank you so much. Now, Juan Fernando, can you tell me the possessive adjectives? But first of all, the personal pronoun and then the possessive adjectives so we get to know with which ones do they work with. I, mm -hmm. with my, mm -hmm. he, with his. You said she with his? No, he. Okay, he. He with his. Uh -huh. Her with she. Uh -huh. We with our. Uh -huh. Our. They with their. Mm -hmm. And you with your. Your, okay, very your. good. So let me see, uh, Nivia. Can you tell me, Nivia, two of the greetings that we have in English that use the verb be? Two greetings. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Será 
Donde dice, how, how are you? How are you? That's one. All right. What's your name? What's your name? That's another one. All right. So that's it. Thank you so much. Thank Ulises. You. Hello, Ulises. Are you there? Well, I think he's not there. All right. So, guys, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you know the alphabet in English? Do you know the alphabet? I'm more or less. Do you know how to spell? Um, Como deletrear? No? Yes, yeah. more or less. <laughs> Yes, so today, guys, we are going to do a lot of practices about spelling. Why? Because it's going to be kind of an evaluation. Va a ser un tipo de evaluación, ¿sí? But first of all, antes que todo, vamos a repasar nuevamente the alphabet. So you do not get confused on that before going to the practices. So let me share this slide with you. Let me see, just give me a moment. All right, so can you see this, the presentation? Can you see it? Yes. All right. So as I said, guys, today we're going to practice a little bit about the alphabet. I know that some of you already know this, some might not. So let me see. We're going to do a test. Vamos a ver si es cierto, vea. And we're going to start with uh, Adrián. Perdón, profe. Hello, are you there? Sí. Bueno, sí sé a, que estás ahí. Ok, go ahead. A, B, C, D, A, L, Okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. I understand. So let me see Gabriela Sanchez. Go ahead. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, J, X, J, uh, Torbido. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Ulises. Chico. Go ahead. A, B, C. D, E, F, G, H, A, J, J, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Okay, Nivia. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I, K, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, C. Okay. Now, the last one, Teresita Hernandez. Hi, teacher. Hello. A, B, C, D, E, F. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V 
W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, now this is going to be a question in general, guys. How do you make the difference between Bella Vidental or B, uh, the burro? No, I'm sorry, Bella Vidental de, de la V y la B labial, de B de burro. How do you make that difference? ¿Cómo hacen ustedes esa diferencia en English? Do you know how to do that? Porque la mayoría decimos B, B, and that's it. So in English, we do have a difference when it comes to pronunciation. We say B, la B de burro, B, and V, con los dientes. B, with your lips, and then V, with your teeth, con los dientes. Okay? So I see that some of you, some of you still have some problems with the vowels. Algunos tienen problemas en identificando las vocales. ¿Sí? So, let's go. Let me see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. En la última, la Z no lo decimos C, como en español, no, es como un vibrato, Z, Z. Como el vibrato de cuando intentamos imitar a las abejas, Z, Z. Okay, so that's the, the vibration you need to do when you pronounce the letter Z, okay? So, when we see this part of the alphabet, I know that it's really easy for you like to say the alphabet because sometimes, algunas veces ya lo andamos memorizado o si no, empezamos A, B, C, D, e, a contar con nuestros dedos o en nuestra mente A, B, C, D para llegar, ¿verdad? But no. It's very important that you know. Por ejemplo, si de repente alguien les pone la letra J, you know how to say it, right? No va a estar A, B, C, D, E, F, or in your mind. So it's very important that we know that. That's why I was asking you guys, do you consider that you are good at spelling? Por eso les preguntaba, ¿consideran que se lo saben bien? ¿Por qué? Today we have a practice. El día de hoy tenemos una práctica que yo la voy a tomar para ver que también estamos con the alphabet. Okay? So, uh, as you can see there in the image, we have letter A as apple, letter B with ball, letter C with cake, letter D with dog, letter E with elephant, letter F with frog, Letter G with grape, letter H with hat, letter I with a glue, letter J with juice, K, key, L, a lion, M, mouth, N, net, O, orange, P, pencil. Q, queen, R, rabbit, S, snake, T, tomato, U, umbrella, V, violin, W, wolf, C, X, xylophone, Y, joke, and Z, Zebra. All right. So um, I think that we do not have any situation like here going on. But let me see. Let me try to do this with someone else. Uh, Carla Flores. Hello, Carla. Good evening, teacher. 
Hello, good evening. Can you please try to say the alphabet? Perdón, me repite, por favor. Can you please say the alphabet? Okay. A, mm -hmm. B, C, mm -hmm. D, E, F, G, mm -hmm. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, J, Z. Y, la, la letra Y la decimos Y. Y, ok. Y, como okay. I, ok. Y, ok. Very good. So, uh, moving on, guys. Moving on, we have a question. Oh, my God. Give me a moment. Okay. So, this is the question, guys, that normally someone is going to ask you when that person wants to know about the spelling of any word. Example, if someone, and that is very common with Americans, eso es muy común con americanos, que los nombres en español no los entienden. Por ejemplo, si usted le dice flores o si usted le dice Hernández o si usted le dice apellidos como Martínez o Ramírez que son netamente español sometimes they don't understand how to how to write that down so they are going to ask you this question how do you spell como deletreas eso how do you spell that how do you spell that este that que vemos acá lo podemos cambiar por how do you spell Nelson, how do you spell Ramirez, how do you spell floor, how do you spell, how do you spell casa, words like that, ¿sí? Esta palabra that la podemos reemplazar por cualquier cosa que le estemos preguntando a alguien how to spell it, okay? This is going to be the question that I'm going to ask you today in order for me to ask you to spell something. Okay, so how do you spell? How do you spell? That's the question. So, as you can see here, we have some other uh, examples like apple, ant, B as in ball, box. Another thing, guys, that is very important. In muchas ocasiones, um, I don't know how we call this in Spanish. No sé cómo le llamamos eso en español, pero es como que decimos té de tomate, a de ave. How do we say, how do we call this action in Spanish? ¿Cómo le llamamos eso en español? Does any of you know? No? Nobody knows? Nadie sabe? No? I think that we call it. Uh, al... apple? Yes, I mean, but como le llamamos a eso alfabeto in Spanish? I think that we call it alfabeto fonético or something like that. That we say, por ejemplo, T de tomate, P de papá. The same happens in English, guys. In English, some people could tell you, for example, A as in apple. P as in Paul, M as in mother, T as in tomato, or T as in Tom, things like that. See, when they didn't, or when you didn't know how to, how to say or how to spell something with someone, that's the way, or there's two ways where you, or how you can do it. Example number one, you just say the letter, como punto número uno, solo podrían decir la letra. Or you can say, as example, si yo vengo y quiero deletrear la palabra apple, and someone asks me, hey, Nelson, how do you spell apple? I can say, de dos formas. La primera, A-P-P-L-E. A-P-P-L-E. Or I can say, A as in apple, P as in Peter, P as in Peter, L as in Lima, E 
as in elephant. See, there's two ways of saying or spelling. De esas dos formas podemos deletrear. So that will be up to you to decide whether to use the one or number two. See, it's up to you, depende de usted. If you want to spell just the letters or you want to use an extra word as a reference, okay? So uh, we, here we have another one, it's car, cat, D, dog, E, elephant or eggs, F, flowers, Flag, flag, bandera, G as in golf or girl, H as in hat or happy, and that's it. Today, guys, is going to be more about practicing what you already know, okay? It's not going to be something related to grammar, nothing like that. Today, we're going to practice more than anything. So, is there any question at this moment, guys? Is there any question? All of you, questions? No questions at all? No. No questions. Okay. So, as I was saying, guys, today we're going to have more practice than anything. So, um, let me see. Gabriela, can you tell me a number from one to 16? Un, nom, un número del 1 al 16. A number from 1 to 16. 10. 10. Okay, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maricela Alejandrina. Hello. Hello. Can you spell Maricela, please? Uh, M A R I S. E L A. Very good. Now give me a number from one to ten. Eight. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Juan Fernando, can you please spell Hernandez? Hernandez? Mm -hmm. H E R N A N D E Z. Very good. Give me a number from one to 15. Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ulises, can you please spell Chanico? C H I, no. Sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. C H A N I C O. Seguro que es I y no I. E. I. Are you sure? Seguro? Yes. Okay. All right. Give me a number from one to 10. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Nivia, can you spell Esmeralda, please? Hey. E S M E R A L T O. O? Oh, perdón. I. <laughs> All right. Give me a number from okay. one to fifteen. Um, one. One. Gabriela, can you spell Gabriela, please? Okay. Um, G A B R uh, I mm -hmm. E L A L A. Give me a number from one to fifteen. Seven. Seven. Let me see. Alba Duarte, can you spell? Let me see. Can you spell your last name, Duarte? Okay. D U A R T E. All right. Very good. So give me a number from one to ten. Um five. 
five. See? No, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Karen Rivas. Can you spell Karen, please? Your name. Hello, Karen, are you there? Oh, I think that you're the one. That, okay, now I got it. I'm sorry, Karen. Now I just, all right, got it, no problem. So let me see, Adrian, can you spell your name? A, D, mm -hmm. R, I, a, M. All right, very good. Now, guys, this is this was just a practice. Esto solo fue una práctica para ver qué también estamos. Ahora, what are we going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Recuérdense, as I told you at the beginning, this was going to be kind of an evaluation for me to verify how well or how much do you know about the alphabet? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ahora voy a ser yo quien va a deletrear. ¿Sí? Y automáticamente cuando usted termine de escribir en su cuaderno, I need you to take a picture and send that picture through the WhatsApp group. Okay? Do, we, do you understand what I'm saying? ¿Entiende lo que estoy diciendo? Sí. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. Elizabeth. Uh, que, eh, que lo vamos a escribir en el grupo your, de WhatsApp. No, okay. in your notebook. In your uh, notebook. Sí, en, mi, en mi cuaderno y luego lo escribo en el grupo. No, then you take a aprendí. picture. Then you take a picture of what you wrote. Y luego ah, tomas okay. una, una foto del... So, and then you send it through the WhatsApp group. See? Okay, okay, okay. Vamos a ver if you got it correct or not. Vamos a ver si es cierto que todos no sabíamos el abecedario, ¿verdad? Como nadie dijo que habían preguntas, here we go. Are you guys ready? Everyone is ready? Todos listos. Let me see. Ya sé cuántos están en la clase. Son 15 in general. So I want to see, cuando terminemos eso, automatically I want to see every one of you photos on the group, okay? So I have, let me see, I have a Gabriela, Ulises, Carla Flores, Karen Rivas, Ana Acevedo, Elizabeth, Alba Duarte, Juan Fernando, Adrián, Omar Durán, Catherine, Maricela, Nidia, Teresita, and Gloria Mercedes. I want to see all of you. We are 15 in general, okay? So, if you are ready, please say yes. So we are going to start. Are you yes. guys ready? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So, I will repeat it. Lo voy a repetir cada letra twice. Únicamente dos veces. If you get it, Si lo entiende, bueno. Y si no, seguimos. Okay? So be really careful and pay attention. I will, the first time, la primera vez is going to be slow. Well, the first time is going to be, la primera vez lo vamos a hacer un poco rápido. And then it's going to be slow. Va a ser un poco despacio. Okay? Y vamos a empezar a practicar. Number one, listening. And number two, Understanding. Okay, let's go. Word number one. Palabra número uno. S E C U R I T Y. Lo voy a repetir de nuevo. S E C U R I T Y. La última vez. S E C U R I T Y. Word number two. Palabra número dos. Word number two. S C R 
E, E, N. I will repeat it once again, otra vez. S, C, R, E, E, N. The last time, la última vez. S, C, R, E, E, N. So, let me ask you before we continue. Antes que continuemos. Does any one of you is having some connection issues? ¿Alguno de ustedes está teniendo problemas de conexión to the internet? No? Ok. El silencio problemas de conexión más. no tengo, pero sí no entiendo nada. <risa> no, nothing? No, la verdad no me puedo muy bien el abecedario. <risa> no oh. entiendo mucho. Okay, so we are going to try it once again, but a little bit slow, okay? So, uh, pero trata de ir practicando si entiendes aunque sea alguna letra, so try to write it down, okay? okay. So, word number three, palabra número tres. Let's go. R, E, A, C, T, I. O N S. Number two. Otra vez. Número dos. R E A C T I O N S. La última vez. R E A C T I O N S. Okay, so now, number five. Y con esta terminamos la primera ronda, okay? So, four, four or five. Oh, we see number four? Four. Oh, my four. bad, my bad, number four. Okay, my bad. So, let's go now. Number four, esta va a ser super fácil. V, I, D, E. O, V, E, D. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. I will repeat it once again. V, I, D, E, O. V, I, D, E, O. The last time. V, I, D, E, O. And no. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, repeat please. First, es, es la, la primera letra que dijo. Necesito ver el movimiento de sus labios. <laughs> the, first, the first letter is V. New, uh, otra vez, otra vez. V. V. All right. So the last one, la última. Okay. Pay attention. B. B. R. E. A. K. O. U. T. Aquí van solo las vocales, vea, y como las vocales a todos nos confunden, vea. Vamos a ver. La repetimos de nuevo. B. R. E. A. K. O, U, T. The last sign, la última vez. B, R, E, A, K, O, U, T. We got fine now, right? Can you repeat the last one, please? Do you mean the whole word or do you mean the last letter? Whole word. I will repeat it. B R E A K U. I'm sorry. K O U T. Profe, eh, la cuatro. En la cuatro no sé, como que no. <laughs> no entendí mucho la cuatro. Puedes repetir la cuatro una vez más. Okay, what, what, what do you have? 
¿Qué es, lo que, ¿Qué es lo que tienes hasta ahorita? Es que no sé, no estoy segura. Eh, es que escribo la palabra y como que no, no, no doy qué es, pero... Okay. No I will sé. repeat it, I will repeat it the last time. Yes, a question. Okay, go ahead. That's a phrasal verb or it's a word? Oh, no, that's a word. Not a phrase, phrasal verb. If that, uh, if that was a phrasal verb, I, I would have to give you like, to tell you space and then. So I will repeat number four. Voy a repetir number four. Y la tienes. Número cuatro, otra vez. V, I, D, E, O. So now, ahorita, todos, todos. Necesito take your picture right now. Take your picture. Take the picture of that. Yes, teacher, listen. teacher, teacher. Este, eh, todas las palabras tienen sentido. La única que no le encuentro sentido es a la segunda. ¿Sería posible volver a repetirla? Honestly, honestamente, son palabras que están viniendo a mi mente y a este punto, la número dos, no me recuerdo. Okay, okay, okay. La última, ¿cómo es primero? What do you have? That's why. I, solo me recuerdo el número tres, cuatro y cinco. B, H, K, O, U, T. Bueno. Okay, let me see. I'm, I'm just checking right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got Alejandra. Okay, I got Omar. Okay. I got Carla. Okay. Okay, great. Yo no mandaré nada porque la verdad no escribí nada. No, no entendí ni una palabra. Ni, ninguna letra, nada. Ah, ninguna. Sí. La verdad, jo, quizá me equivoqué de este grupo. Es para principiantes, pero yo quizás estaría en el de niño porque no entiendo nada. No, I mean, it's okay, no. Uh, we're going to try to try to practice once again. Me faltó la Let me see. Recibí el de Alba as well. Marisela, Teresita, ok, and Fernando. Okay. Ya vi la mía también, profe. Me sí. Eh, recibí a alguien que dice Messi 503, Arenojo Judaris. Nidia Marroquín. Soy yo, profe, eh, Adrián. Ah, okay. El Messi 503. Ok, got it. Gaby, Ulises. Mire, se es su. Ahí usted tiene una nueva pusa. Yo guarde. Todavía me ayudo. Ok. So, I'm just checking right now, and I see that most of you got correctly these words. En la mayoría se equivocó entre la última que la palabra era break out, break out, y la número dos que era, uh, perdón, la número cuatro que era video, literalmente era video, video, ¿sí? Video. Eh, la mayoría la puso con B labial y no con B la vidental. Okay. Por eso le pedí que repitiera la palabra y necesitaba ver el movimiento de sus labios. Luego, security. Ok, la voy a decir en orden. Number one era security, como seguridad. Security. Number two era screen, como pantalla. Screen. S-C-R-E-E-N. Sí, number three. Era N-N. Número tres era reaction, reaction, reacción, reaction. Número cuatro era video, video. En la última era breakout. ¿Sí? Yo lo tenía con bueno, screen y por copiarse el otro más. Screen con M. La B por copiar, Alba, ok. Por copiar. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So uh, now we're going to do it in a very different way. Lo vamos a hacer de una manera diferente. Do you remember that I told you that in English we have two ways of spelling words? Se recuerdan que les dije que en inglés tenemos dos formas de deletrear. Ahora lo vamos a hacer de la otra forma, utilizando referencias, palabras. Esta va a ser más fácil. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo así? Es decir, an example. If I want to spell my name, si quiero deletrear mi nombre, Nelson, le empezaría como N, N as Nelson, E as Elephant, L as Laura, S as in Sam, O as in Oprah, N as in Nancy. ¿Sí? Are we understanding? Do we understand what we're going to do? Do you understand, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, understand. Yes, teacher. Okay. Tienen que ser palabras en inglés. Yeah, of course. Uh, English <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, are you guys ready? So we can start now. So we're going to start. Esta va a ser una un poco larga. Porque de esta manera es simple. It's easier. Okay. Let's go. Word number one. Palabra número uno. P as in Paul. A as in apple. R as in rat. T as in tomato. I as in ice cream. C as in Charlie. I as in ice cream. P as in Peter. A as in apple. N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, S as in Zem. Yes? Veo cara de perdición, vea. Me quedé en la primera. No volver a repetir, coach. Sí, no entendí. Okay. I will try to do it. The last time. This is going to be the last time. Solo la primera lo vamos a repetir dos veces. ¿Sí? Porque este es más fácil. Dado el hecho que se le está dando palabras de referencia. ¿Sí? Let's start. P as in Peter. A as in apple. R as in rat. T as in tomato. I as in ice cream. C as in Charlie. I as in ice cream, P as in Peter, A as in apple, N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, S as in Sam. Okay. All right, number two, numero dos. R as in rat, E as in elephant, C as in Charlie, O as in Oscar, R as in rat, D as in David, I as in ice cream, N as in Nancy, G as in golf. Number three, R as in rat, O as in Oscar, O as in Oscar, M as in Mary, S as in Sam. Number four, M as in Mary, U as in umbrella, T as in tomato, E as in elephant. And the last one, the ultimate, okay? F as in focus, A as in apple, C as in Charlie, E as in elephant, B as in boy, O as in Oscar, O as in Oscar, K as in kilo. Thanks. Yay, you got it, right? <laughs> okay, now let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, take the picture and send it through the WhatsApp group. OK. 
Okay, let me see. I got Fernando's. All right. I already got Alba. I got Carla Flores. I got Teresita. I got another one that it doesn't have a name. Una que tiene una bandera de Salvador. I don't know who that is. Eso soy yo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alejandra, Omar, Nidia. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> you still didn't get? No? Oh. Todavía no, eh, Ana, no? Any no. other words? Yo que estando perdida en esto. Aunque llevábamos palabras de referencia, no? Nada. La verdad que es la primera vez que recibo esto de inglés, nunca lo había recibido y. No, it's difícil. okay. No es difícil, solo necesitamos un poquito de más de práctica, to practice a little bit more. Never say never, nunca decir nunca. To focus on yourself. Y... No, no digo nunca porque algún día lo voy a aprender, aunque me cueste, that's, pero no, ya That's sé. the attitude. Esa es la actitud, ¿ok? And sí. we're going to learn as much as possible. ¿Sí? Ok. So let me see. I got... All right. So congratulations to the majority of you. Ulises, ¿qué pasó ahí, Ulises? A la mitad me dejo las palabras, ¿ya? Ok. All right. So I'm very, well, I'm very surprised. The majority of you got it correctly. I'm checking and most of you, algunos, solo vi uno por ahí que me puso Facebook con I, ¿verdad? Faiz, Facebook. I don't know who that is, uh, but the majority of you, la mayoría, got it correctly. So that's very good. The number one, it was participants, participantes. Number two, recording, grabar. Number three, era rooms, como habitaciones. Number four, era mute, como silencio, mute o mudo. And the last one era Facebook, see? That was very, very easy. I just got Adrian Farelli as well. Okay, very good. So, let me see. All right, perfect. We are going to do the last one, guys. Y estas sí van a ser 10 completamente, sí? Vamos a, nos, no vamos a repetir más de dos veces. Esta sí es la evaluación entera, ¿sí? Es decir, cada incorrecta significa obviously incorrect, ¿ok? So, we are going to try to change, like, vamos a tratar de cambiar una con referencias, una sin referencias, y así. Lo vamos a tratar de hacer intercalado. So, interchange that, ¿ok? So let me know when you're ready, okay? So we can start. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yes. Despacio, Okay. <laughs> creo, creo que la mayoría nos confundimos en la vocales. The majority, la mayoría siempre tiene problemas en la vocales. Confundimos I con la E. Que en este caso, I es I, I que es E, A que es A, U que es U, y O, O, obviously. So, but we tend to confuse all that. So, now, concentration, 100% concentrated. See, focus on what you're going to do. So, we're going to start. Number one. Número uno. Start. This one, number one, is going to be without sin referencia, without references, okay? So it's going to be just letters, just letters, okay? We start, number one, B, E, F, O, 
R E. Vamos a repetir number two. Segunda vez. B E F O R E. All right. Let's go to number two. Vamos a la palabra número dos. Okay. Now this time we're going to give you references, okay? Now I'm going to give you references. So, empezamos. M as in Mary, O as in Oscar, R as in Robert, N as in Nancy, I as in India, N as in Nancy, G as in golf. I will repeat it once again. M as in Mary, O as in Oscar, R as in Robert, N as in Nancy, I as in India, N as in Nancy, G as in golf. Okay, number three, numero tres. Let's go, we go again, vamos de nuevo, without references. We're going to go just with letters. Number three. F A M I L Y. I will repeat it again. F A M I L Y. Now, number uh, four. Number four with references. Now, a as in apple, L as in Lima, M as in mother, O as in Oscar, S as in Zem, T as in tomato. Once again, una vez más. A as in apple, L as in Lima, M as in mother, O as in Oscar, S as in Zem, T as in tomato. Now, we go with number five, right? Number five. Let's go. M O N E Y. M O N E Y. Now, number six. M as in Mary, O as in Oscar, U as in Umbrella, T as in Tom, H as in Harry. Vamos a ver una vez más, once again. M as in Mary, O as in Oscar, U as in Umbrella, T as in Tom, H as in Harry. Number seven, numero siete. All right. S U M M E R. S U M M E R. Number eight. A as in apple, L as in Lima. R as in Robert, E as in elephant, A as in apple, D as in Dora, Y as in yellow. Once again, A as in apple, L as in Lima, R as in Robert, E as in elephant, A as in apple, D as in Dora, Y as in yellow. Number nine, numero nueve. Let's see. G R A N D M O P H E R. 
I will repeat it once again. G R A N D M O T H E R. Me perdí en las últimas palabras, profe, después de la segunda G. Oh, my God. And the last one, la última. The last one. A as in Apple, I as in India, R as in Robert, E as in Paul, L as in Lima, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, E as in Alex. I will repeat it once again. A as in Apple, I as in India, R as in Robert, P as in Paul, L as in Lima, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, E as in L. All right. So now this is all, guys. So try to send uh, cada uno que le envía, please try to add your name. Agreguen su nombre abajo en a comment, en un comentario, so I can know who you are. See? Please try to do it now. And that was all the practice that we have for today. Espero, verdad, que a todos nos haya servido de práctica en poder de nuevo ensayar el abecedario. See the ABC. So let me see. Please do not. Okay, very good. Carla Flores, Maricela, Alejandra Rivas. Okay, very good. I got Ulises. I got Teresita. I got. Nivia, Catherine, who's Catherine? Okay, Catherine Reyes, okay. Fernando, very good. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay, guys. So try to keep on sending your, los demás que todavía no le han enviado, ¿verdad? Send it, and I will be checking all of that. So guys, before you go, antes que se vayan, do not forget guys to keep working on the platform. Yes, if you have any questions, si tienen alguna pregunta referente a algún ejercicio, eh, les voy a pedir de favor que me le pongan el dato de referencia como sección 1 o si no ejercicio 1 punto y algo, 1.13, 1.2, 1.3, so I can know what you're talking about. So, así puedo revisar y, y entender de qué ejercicio me están hablando. Okay, so remember, tomorrow we have calibration. Mañana tenemos calibración de plataforma. Eso significa que para todos, ¿verdad? Los que ya explicaron su situación, pues es increíble. Y los demás, el día de mañana se les estará eh, revisando su trabajo en la plataforma. Remember that uh, that is part of your learning, okay? If you don't get 80%, tienen que tener 80% at the end of the module, 80% al, al finalizar el módulo. And with that, you are going to be able to get your certificate, okay? So if there is no more question, guys, I just, I just have to say goodbye, have a good night, and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? See you, take care. Okay, bye. Oh, goodbye, teacher. Bye. Have any question, Elisa? No. Okay, no, <laughs> she didn't get a question. No questions? Okay. No, never mind. Okay. So have a good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.